Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I've created a really easy makeup look that's perfect for any evening occasion like prom or a party or just a night out. I wanted to do something that was going to be really easy for you guys to recreate because I know not everyone's a makeup artist including me, believe me. So I really hope you guys enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below for more videos and stay right there to see how I did this makeup. So starting off of course with a nice clean moisturised face I'm going to begin with primer and I'm going to be using two primers today and I'm using the Makeup Revolution Ultra Face Base Primer which apparently has 24 hour makeup protection which is perfect for an evening out and then also my favourite Hocus Focus Illuminator by Soap and Glory to give us a really glowy base. So I'm just going to smooth the Makeup Revolution one all over my face. This feels really weird, it's like a gel but it makes your skin feel really soft. Then some Hocus Focus. I love this product so much. It smells so good and it just makes your skin look so illuminated. I love it. I'm going to go in with some foundation and you know usually I go for a really lightweight dewy foundation but today I'm going for something a little bit different because it is a nighttime look so I want it to be a bit more fuller coverage and something that's going to stay a bit more. So I'm taking an old favourite which is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid and this is kind of a compromise between the dewy glowy foundation that I usually love and the matte foundations that I don't really like. This is kind of a middle ground, it has a really lovely satiny finish and I'm going to apply this with my makeup sponge which is also a drugstore product and I'm just going to wet this with some Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Fixing Spray. So I'm just going to put I think two pumps onto the sponge and then I can always add more if I feel like I need a bit more. This literally made my skin look like a doll. It looks so nice, um, but it's really like not cakey or anything like that. And it still has a really nice amount of glow. I'm gonna add a little bit more because the foundation is actually quite lightweight on the skin. So you can afford to layer up a little bit more just to make sure that it's really long lasting and stays on all night. I'm just gonna pop a little bit of translucent powder on my eyelids just to kind of prime them for eyeshadow. So for eye makeup, I wanted to do something that was really simple and easy to do, but still looked very glamorous, but also very wearable as well. And I'm going to be using the Collection Cosmetics Eyes Uncovered Nude Palette, which is an amazing palette because it literally has every color that you need for a simple look. I'm going to start off by taking the brown shade called Brown Sugar on a little crease brush and just apply this to the outer corner into the crease just to start shaping the whole eye. Then I'm going to take the shade Buttercream which is a really pretty um, pinky sort of champagne colour um, and just literally apply this all over the lid including the inner corner. Then, just to add even more shimmer, I'm taking the Barry M Dazzle Dust in the shade 105 Athena, which is such a beautiful shimmery pale pink. It's almost champagne, but just with a little bit of like a rosy tint. So I'm just going to pop this basically over where I put the original champagne colour, and this will just really make the eyes pop. I'm going to take an angled brush, the deepest, darkest shade, which is called Espresso. And instead of eyeliner, we're basically just going to do a little bit of a line with the brown eyeshadow, just so it's nice and soft. So this is still going to give the eye makeup look a really nice definition, but it's just going to be a lot softer and more delicate. And I'm just applying this like I would a winged eyeliner, if I was ever going to do a winged eyeliner. So just taking it from the very corner of my eye in the direction of the end of my brow, and then just bringing it into the light line and then just with what's left over on the brush I'm just going to apply a little line over my lash line and also again just with what's left on the brush just take this under the eye as well just to bring it all together Then I'm just going to do one final bit of blending just to make it all look really lovely and seamless. Now it's time for mascara and I'm using the Barry M Shogal Extra Volume Black Mascara and I was originally attracted to this mascara because of the packaging but it's actually really really good. I love the wand, this is my favourite type of mascara brush to use um, and it's so the opposite of clumpy which means it's really good for layering up and I just really really like it. Thank you. 
Now to finish off the eyes, I'm going to apply some false eyelashes and I'm going to use the Fleur de Force Eyelash Lashes. These are the Fleur Loves Lashes and I really like these ones because personally I really don't like false eyelashes. I just feel like they're too much for my face. But these ones are really natural. They just add a little bit more length, more volume and like a nice fluttery edge to your eyelashes. So these are definitely my favourite ones but there's no way I'm going to be able to apply these start here on camera. So I'm going to go and do this in the mirror and come back once they're on. So now the eye makeup is all finished, we're going back to the face and I'm taking the Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer. It really lifts any dark circles and it's really good for highlighting the face as well. And I'm taking this right up to the line of the eyeshadow so we can really sharpen that up as well when we blend it in. Then just a touch in all the usual places. I'm jumping straight back in with the makeup sponge. Next I'm going to contour and I'm taking the Sleek Face Form Contouring and Blush Palette which I love, every single shade in it is great, but I'm just going to be taking the contouring shade today. I'm obviously applying more product than I usually would for an everyday look, but I like it. For blush, I'm taking this cream blush stick by Revlon, which is the Insta Blush in the shade Rose Gold Kiss. And I love this because it's quite a warm toned blush and I feel like because the eye makeup is very cool, we do need to warm the face up a bit. And I love using a cream blush. So I just apply this to the apples. And then just blend it out. I love how subtle the colour is on this blush as well. So pretty. Then to highlight, I'm taking the L'Oreal True Match Highlight in the shade Icy Glow, which is a lovely, cool, silvery pink. So it will really complement the eye makeup. And I'm just going to squeeze this directly out of the tube onto the places that I like to highlight. And I'm just going to dab this in with my sponge. Next I'm just taking some powder, this is the number 7 Perfect Light Translucent Powder and just popping this in the places where my makeup always comes off and where I really need it to stay, like under my eyes. Then I'm just going to spray my whole face with some setting spray, this is the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. I love using a setting spray recently. Mm. For my brows, I'm using the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil in the shade Soft Brown. I feel like an eyebrow pencil just needs to have a brush. And this is a teeny, teeny, tiny crayon, a bit like Brow Wiz or um, the Precisely My Brow by Benefit. It's really good for filling in your brows really precisely. Then to set them in place, I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in the shade Light to Medium. And this is great because it has fibres in it, so not only does it set your brows in place, but it also really volumizes them as well and makes them look a lot thicker. Then finally onto lips, I'm taking the L'Oreal Lip Liner Couture in the shade Beige and New. I know I use this in every video, I apologise, but I can't find a better colour lip liner. I wanted a really neutral lip because obviously it's kind of about the eyes in this look. Also filling the lips in with the liner just because I find this helps the lipstick stay longer. Then for lipstick, I'm taking the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Lipstick in the shade Love and Doe Beige. I've used this before in a video, I really, really like it. It just gives you a really neutral nice um, glossy sheen on your lips. It's really neutral and really natural but especially with the lip liner underneath it's going to look really nice. This is just like the ultimate nude lip which is great because it goes with everything. Then finally just to add a little bit more glam I'm taking the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Lip Gloss in the shade Spun Sugar which is basically the Barium Dazzle Dust in lip gloss form. It's really pretty. I'm just going to 
dab some on top of the lips to make them look nice and glossy and lovely. I did consider doing a matte lip for this look because I know that's what everyone is into right now, especially for evening, but it's just not me. I prefer a glossy lip any day. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and please do subscribe to my channel if you're here for the first time. Thank you so much for watching and as always, I shall see you next week in my video. Bye!